Hello guys from Plant Reviews. Today I will talk about the iris pollination, so how to produce new bearded irises from seeds. Uh, let's start with the anatomy of the bearded iris. So the bearded iris has uh, three uh, tepals that constitute the standards, they go upwards and uh, three uh, petals that uh, constitutes the falls and uh, they basically act as uh, like a landing platform uh, where the insects uh, arrive uh, at the, in the, on the irises. Uh, basically the, um, so, well, the bearded irises in addition on the, um, uh, on the fall have some projections uh, that have, can be the same color of the fall or a contrasting color as in this case this is the uh, Mr. Uh, Jinx a beautiful uh, purple almost black uh, iris as you can see uh, this um, between the um, uh, standards and the falls as you can see there's a, a projection called the style arm that is this one so being the flower composed of three units there's three style arms these are very important because this is the actual reproductive part of the iris so on the uh, this uh, in between the standards you will find on the style arms uh, two parts one that is uh, the uh, style crest that projects upward as in this case and a very very uh, um, a very very uh, narrow thin area horizontal almost horizontal and this one is the actual stigma the female part of the flower uh, below the style arms is the male part of the flower uh, that contains the under the stamen and the anther as you can see this yellow part is the anther so in order to pollinate the iris what they would do is to cut with a tweezer the anther and I was not able to but I'll get another shot hope you're able to see it yeah okay perfect so what I will do now is basically pollinate another iris with this and just to put it a little bit better on the tweezer. Uh, just careful when you manipulate the hunter that uh, you obviously don't uh, drop it with the pollen the side surface because the anther has two sides in the uh, uh, two sides so this one side sorry I'll show you this one side here contains the pollen you can see the actual granules I think now you should be able to see the actual granules while this part instead doesn't contain any uh, granules as you can see you see it's very smooth this surface while this one is uh, um, more like uh, dusty so to say and that's where the pollen is so you take this part and then you pollinate uh, another iris in this case I would probably choose the poem of ecstasy this is a beautiful iris uh, so I need to sometimes in many iris varieties the standards are really frilly so you have to kind of separate them in order to get access to the stigmatic lip i'm sorry to ruin this beautiful flower but really is necessary if i want to get to the stigma so 
okay and then you gently yeah let's do this as well I need this as much open as possible okay so I will stick the pollen yeah the pollen now is thick what I meant to do is doing this you can see that I am basically putting the pollen on the anther here okay Uh, basically you need to repeat the procedure on the uh, you know on all the three units of the flower I'll show you probably is better if I show you again like a self pollination in the mr. jinx because the mr. jinx is actually a very nice uh, horizontal and open uh, stigmatic uh, area so basically you take this the pollen and you rub it on the stigmatic lip this way you see now the stigmatic lip is completely purple and when I put the pollen will be covered in white as you can see so that's how you pollinate the bearded irises uh, as I said you can both do uh, cross-pollination or uh, self-pollination so the cross-pollination was the poem of ecstasy so full pollination I've done this, this one uh, you have to remember to basically spread the pollen on the top of all the three stigmatic areas just to ensure that uh, the flower has the best chances of getting fully pollinated and uh, that's how you hand pollinate uh, the bearded iris flower then you should put a tag uh, on the stem of the flower to remember uh, who are the parents for example in this case you can write uh, uh, Mr. Jinx self cross uh, and put the tag uh, at the base of the stem ideally you should um, you should uh, uh, cross pollinate or self pollinate all the flowers of the irises with the same parent or with itself or sorry with the same plant or with itself me I like to have to pollinate different uh, irises with different uh, so sorry different varieties different flowers even on the same plants with different varieties so to increase the range of colors available and uh, usually I'm always so busy in cross pollinating that I just know the mother or the father of the, the sorry the mother of the plant uh, obviously I don't because I label them I'm not usually not the father uh, the label ideally you should put it uh, yeah, at the base of the stem as in this case um, about the um, normal pollination really uh, usually uh, insects land on the fall of the iris then they start moving around crawling they are crawling the iris then they uh, and ideally they end up first on the style arm and they release the pollen then they try to reach the nectar inside the flower and when they get out of the flower they basically rub against the anther so they get the pollen on the back and then they repeat the process again uh, me obviously I did my hand pollination it might be that another uh, pollinator might come and spread some pollen from some other irises around however in most varieties of the irises the standards and the style arms as you can see especially in the poem of ecstasy like many other uh, modern varieties uh, the petals and the sepals are so much modified that, that basically block the access to the insects uh, so they cannot uh, pollinate anymore uh, you see this standard is actually completely covering the style uh, the style arm and the stigma of this flower in this one I basically destroyed the standard in order to get access to the flower I will just do a little bit more of 
pollen spreading. In this iris, and I will use well, I will use another anther as well too, because uh, yeah, this iris didn't receive much pollen. Uh, when if the pollination is successful, not always the pollination is successful. Usually, when I do pollina iris pollination, I would say about thirty or forty percent of my pollinations ends up with the seed pod and actually on uh, this uh, uh, poem of ecstasy iris you can see a seed pod uh, developing from one of my previous uh, uh, pollinations the poem of ecstasy has been in flower actually already from about three weeks so i'm very satisfied of um, the of the poem of ecstasy and um, also uh, different varieties of fertility can vary for example last year i pollinated the poem of ecstasy uh, at least four or five flowers and uh, uh, I had only two seed pods developing and uh, from uh, both seed pods I, in the end I got only out of probably 70 seeds only three germinated so far while uh, in other cross I made uh, the local color with the Graculus kiss uh, out of two seed pods I got basically uh, 80 plants germinating so it was a very good uh, uh, germination rate uh, i'm not too sure if some plants are more sterile than others or possibly obviously uh, some cross-pollination make me uh, more successful with s between some varieties and less successful uh, between different varieties however uh, as i said there's so many odds that uh, in the hybridization and pollination of the flower that also uh, makes uh, all of that more fun even if sometimes a bit uh, disappointing and uh, um, well I hope to see the results soon um, I as I said usually I just pollinate without tagging because at the moment I'm just doing it for fun uh, however obviously if you want to keep track of your records and of the genetics I strongly recommend that you pollinate uh, uh, taking notes of uh, uh, which is the male plant and which is the mother plant and uh, when you write across uh, you write uh, uh, usually the mother plant first the mother plant is in this case is the uh, poem of ecstasy the one bearing the seed pod while the father plant is the one uh, giving the pollination obviously in this in the case of the mr jinx uh, i pollinated the same flower with the same pollen with the same stigma so obviously there will be a self uh, cross and sometimes even self crosses you can have uh, very interesting uh, results so i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you would like to um, subscribe to support my channel that would be great and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers.